Hi, Doug. So continuing on on our thread of data security and application security in Salesforce, what are some of the application security areas that Salesforce customers should think about? Thanks for asking, Saurabh. I think the key ones, the four we're going to be covering in the webinar, is looking at code that you have running in your Salesforce environment, the configuration that's point and click, so actually the settings inside your Salesforce org itself, the integration as well, because obviously having your data available to other systems is a possible security risk. And lastly, user access, because the biggest threat to your Salesforce environment's data is actually your internal employees and your people have access to your environment. So they're the four parts we're covering off in the, in the session. And hopefully people ask a lot of questions when they come on the webinar and we'll make it very interactive and have some good feedback. Those are great points, Doug. I'm glad you mentioned, particularly I've also seen that it always boils down to accidents, malicious intent, and sometimes just users that didn't know what they were doing. They just run into something because the, those permissions were never blocked or things were not done correctly for them. That's a great totally point. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. It's normally not malicious. Sometimes it's just people trying to do their job and trying to bypass things and that sort of stuff. So yeah. it, although some people I have actually seen take the whole customer list and run away, which is not great. So we'll talk about how we can solve that problem as well. Sounds like a fun webinar. Looking forward to it. Likewise. Take care.